Hi, so I'm just looking at my circuits today and planning out what's going to go where on my circuit board. So in this fuse box I've got two RCDs, five circuits on each side. Now it's going to be a three-story house in the end because we're going to add a loft. So what I do there is I have a ring for downstairs, a ring for the first floor, a ring for the loft. Then I'll have lights for downstairs, lights for first floor, lights for loft. So there's six circuits. To that I'll have a cooker circuit, so that's seven. And in this case, the gas boiler is just going to go to the side of the, uh, the consumer unit. So just for ease, I'll probably just have a little radial circuit for that. So I'll be looking at eight circuits. Now I bought a fuse board with room for 10 circuit breakers. There's two reasons I do that. It gives me a little bit more room to work when I'm putting the wires in. It does get pretty crowded in there. Um, also, it gives a little bit of ability for future expansion. Say the new homeowner comes in and they want to add a circuit for whatever reason, they can quite easily do it without adding another fuse board. So which fuse would go where? Now traditionally, the highest fuse goes next to the main feed or the RTD and the lowest fuse goes to the right. I, I always wire a box up like that. There's no real reason to do it. Back in the day, perhaps there was, but with current consumer units, there's no need to saw. You can put them where you like. But for neatness sake and for traditional values, I do do it like that. So I'll have a 40 for a cooker, 32 for my ring, probably another ring, and then six for, for my lights. Now, the way I split the circuits, there's eight circuits, I'll have four on each side. Now, I split my rings and my lights up. So, so I will have the ground floor ring on this side and the ground floor lights on that side. And then I will have the first floor ring on this side and the first floor lights on this side. And then same for the loft, I'll split them up. I'll split them up because say if you're in the bathroom on the first floor and the lights go off, there's still a potential that you've got a light plugged into your sockets so they won't go off. So you're not in complete darkness. So we're just putting everything back together now. So we'll put it on screen. As you can see, we're gonna go ground floor ring, 32 amp, loft ring, 32 amp, boiler radial, 16 amp. Um, radials can be 20 amps, but these things are supplied with 16 amp fuses, so I might as well use it. Uh, first floor lamp, six amps. I'm gonna put a blank in, past the second RCD, then we've got a 40 amp cooker circuit, 32 amp first floor ring, then six amp ground lights, six amp loft lights, and uh, finally another blank and there you go that's going to be the circuits for this house well i hope that was useful see you on the next one bye bye